Next to enter the den... Some water. A husband and wife team. Yeah. Richard and Fiona Jones. Yeah, I'm shaking. There you go. Thank you. As soon as we met each other, we kind of were very kind of innovative in our thinking. Shake it up. So we've been always that kind of couple. There's already a perfect blend in the lobby. So what about the den? Coffee. A coffee. I don't know, but I'm really excited. That looks like we're going to get a cup, and I'll be buzzing. Sarah Davies might be in the need of a caffeine kick. Oh my god. But the entrepreneur's pulses are already racing. Is this the most stressful thing you've ever done? Yeah. Like, I think even that's easier. <laughs> Will the entrepreneurs be able to put their nerves aside and snare themselves a dragon? Hello, dragons. Uh, we're Richard and Fiona. Uh, founders of Beans Coffee Club, and we're here today seeking £50,000 for 5% investment in our business. There are over 400 independent coffee roasters in the UK. Finding them and knowing which ones are any good can be really expensive, time-consuming and difficult. We launched Beans Coffee Club in June 2019, bringing the most popular US subscription model to the UK for the first time. We ask you seven quick questions, and based on your feedback, we'll tailor the selection of coffees, ensuring we only send you coffees that we know you're going to love. We have over 100 coffees on our site. Every coffee is roasted to order and dispatched directly in letterbox-friendly, recyclable packaging. We give our members more than just coffee. They're part of a community, they get discounts, they get giveaways, and they get access to live masterclasses. And then we tell them all about the roasters who roasted their coffee that month or week or however quickly they get it. In your boxes, you will find two deliveries from Beans Coffee Club. And Rich is going to come round and give you each a taster of our exclusive blend for you to try. A subscription service which aims to match coffee lovers with their perfect cuppa is the offering from Richard and Fiona Jones. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's this coffee? This is a coffee called Palomino Blend. Mm, thank you. The couple would like £50,000 in return for a 5% share in their business. Is it ready to pour now? In an ideal world, we'd maybe let it brew a little bit longer. I like an ideal world. I haven't <laughs> let it brew a little longer. Good things may come to those who wait, but Sarah Davies is already full of beans and keen to get things started. I think... I might be the ideal customer for you. I really want to enjoy coffee. Yep. I just don't know what I like and why I like it. You are our ideal customer. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Excellent. So how far down the journey are you? How long have you been going with the business? So we've been trading uh, three years. Mm -hmm. To take you through our numbers, so in year one, we turned over £20,000. Mm -hmm. We made a small gross profit of £4,000 and a, a net profit of minus £13,000. In year two, we turned over £130,000. We made a gross profit of 45000 and a net loss of minus twenty. And in the third year, uh, we just about turned over £200,000. We've made a gross profit of 40000 and we've just about broken even. Ooh, whoa. What happened there? So, um, I know that's a, that's a bit bold, so there's a specific reason. We signed a long-term deal with Curry's, whereby for every coffee machine you purchase, you got two free bags of Beans Coffee Club coffee. But that promotion had a lot of upfront costs. So we had an awful lot of customers come and join. We've had to pay for all that coffee upfront. And we haven't seen the realization of the revenues yet because we're a subscription business with a, a 10 month customer lifetime. So those customers you recruited did come into your subscription yeah. product? Absolutely, yes. And you are starting to see them pay? Yeah, regularly. absolutely. Richard and Fiona have had to speculate to accumulate. Now, Tuka Suleiman wants a snapshot of where their business is currently at. How many subscribers do you actually have as we speak today? We have 2,000 subscribers. Right. And what's the cost of acquisition of a subscriber? So through um, certain paid advertising channels, the things like Google, that type of thing, we see an average 12 or 13 pounds per customer. Mm -hmm. Now, we pivoted away from paid. We focus on partnerships. But through partnerships, it costs about 11 pounds per customer. 
You see, I think subscriptions that, you know, we are about to enter a recession. The first thing people do is look at their bank account and start ticking off, don't need that, don't need that, in subscription format. At the moment, you really are all in to curries. It's like playing poker. So let's assume that curries does not work. What will happen? So we've also started discussions with um, coffee machine manufacturers. So they're very interested in um, working with somebody like ourselves because we've seen actually the investment that people are having in their at-home machine has grown massively. And actually what's happening is, yes, there's a recession about to hit, so people won't go out and get their on-the-go coffee. They'll brew it at home and take it's it with them, cheaper. which is cheaper. Fears of recession have led to Richard and Fiona exploring new routes to market. But Deborah Meaden is eager to discover more about the Coffee Entrepreneurs' competition. Is there nobody else doing a coffee subscription model in this way? I mean, there are lots of individual businesses that are selling their own coffee um, through a subscription model, but is there another coffee club? Uh, there's multi-roasted coffee um, subscriptions, but they are what we kind of generally call coffee of the month, so they will send the same coffee out to their subscribers. So it's not personalised, it's not freshly roasted to order. And to help me understand the mechanism, you're not roasting, you are literally administering the club. Yes, we don't even han handle the coffee, it's shipped direct from the roaster, so effectively we're a technology platform. The value's then in the intelligent learning, where you rate your coffees and then we learn which type of flavours you like. So that is your real difference? Absolutely. You, you, it's this brain that you've got that's thinking Absolutely. for people that, you know, you're going to like this. OK, well, let's talk about that, because it sounds like the tech is really quite important. Yes. What we're actually doing at the minute is part of the, what we want the investment for is to launch a fully customised site, where we'd be able to kind of push that technology further and actually introduce an app as well so that we can collect more data. So the manufacturers that we're talking to that are interested in partnering alongside Curry's are really interested in the data that we can collect in terms of consumer habits, and that's very valuable. So we want to increase mm. our data collection when we create the new... OK, I'm glad I switched the tech switch on because that's really what you are. Absolutely. Deborah Mead and Delving has revealed another facet to Richard and Fiona's company. Could this apparent thirst for coffee drinkers' data tempt tech titan Peter Jones into making an offer? I think I'm the only one here that could make this business work for you. And I'm not... I don't often make such a bold statement. Um, that's probably not true. I do make it occasionally. <laughs> we have seen the show. <laughs> and it's funny how we've all got really successful businesses. It's amazing. <laughs> and the thing is, that I think that this is very interesting. I think you're really good. Um, so I'm not going to make you an offer. And, and I want to explain why. Your core element to your strategy is the data and the analytics that you need to provide to manufacturers as an assisted sale is absolutely spot on. But I agree with Tuca. I think the subscription business and what you're doing, I think, is flawed. And I think that that is not a journey that I want to go on with you. So I'm going to say that I'm out. Richard and Fiona's hopes of a deal are raised and then dashed. Is Tuka Suleiman any more willing to take the plunge and pour his greens into beans? Richard and Fiona, I believe two things here. One, we're going into a recession. Two, to get people to sign up on a subscription model, they'll think twice. It's for that reason I'm out. OK, thank, thank, you. thank you. Guys, I think you've got an absolutely brilliant business. And you seem to have all of the credibility to make this a success. But as an investor, I need to be really passionate about that product. As much as I've enjoyed the cup of coffee, I don't think I would be the right investor for your business. So, I'm out.
Guys, I'm going to tell you why. I think you're great. I think you, um, looking at the two of you, you've got the ingredients that are going to help you win in... Uh, it is... Listen, not everything works in a subscription model. Everybody thinks it does, but it doesn't. But you've got a lot of the skills that are going to help you mould this. I think your partnership deals are very interesting, and I think that was very smart of you to uh, identify that as a really strong route directly into a market. So, I am going to make you an offer, but your offer to me in no way reflects where the business is right now. So, I'm going to offer you all of the money. And I want 15% of the business for that. OK. Thank you. Thank you. An offer for Richard and Fiona. But it's for three times the equity than the 5% they wanted to give away. He's better known for posting than roasting. But will Stephen Bartlett share the belief that these entrepreneurs could create a stir? I love the scalability of your core business, the subscription business. But I only love the scalability of the core business if the customer acquisition costs are scalable. And what you've said quite clearly today is that you don't believe they are via the current means. So I'm left in a position where I say, OK, there's things to figure out, but there are in all, all companies and all businesses. Yeah. Are these people, with my support, going to be able to figure those things out? 100%. So I'm going to make you an offer as well. So I'm going to offer you all of the money for... ..15% of the business as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you want to go back to the position yeah, and see? Yeah. Oh, I'll have a chat. Thank you. <laughs> what should you do? Ask him to drop down to get the money back. Richard and Fiona now have two identical bids to consider. If we say partner, we get 10% each. It's decision time for the coffee loving couple. I think they get offended. I don't think. Play this right, and it could transform their futures in an instant. OK, thank you very much uh, for your, your offers. It's amazing, and, and to have two people offering more than we thought. Would there be any interest in you guys partnering at all? Do you know what? Um, I believe that, in this case, me and Deborah offer two different things. OK. So I would be open to that, if Deborah would be open to that. As much as I'd like it all on my own, <laughs> I actually completely agree. For 15%, 7.5% each? Yes. Absolutely. Amazing. Fantastic, thank you. In that case, we'd like to accept. Yes. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Thanks, guys. Richard and Fiona have done it. They leave the den with £50,000. Ah! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> and the backing of a duo of dragons who can give their coffee business a shot at the big time. Very overwhelmed, very excited, um, very happy. Well done, baby. You're amazing. So are you. You're absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you too. Mm -hmm. well, well done. Literally feel like I've been spat out of a whirlwind. <laughs> like, wow.